Hey there everybody, this is Lee with Creative Two Time Mom and today I'm going to be sharing with you some of my homeschool favorites. This is a show and tell tag and I want to thank Heidi from Boy Boss Mama and Michelle from A Common Life for inviting me to join in on this tag video. I'm so excited. Our kids get to take things and show their friends what they're learning and show their family members, like when the grandparents come into town. But nobody ever asks a homeschool mom, hey, what are some of your favorites? So today I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of the things that I love to show and tell that involve our homeschool and some of our favorite products. So the first question is, what is your favorite curriculum at the moment? And I did a review of this a couple weeks ago, which I will link down below. My favorite curriculum at the moment is this story of the wor world. I know it's been around for a little while, but we never gave it a chance until this year. There are four different volumes. There's ancient history, medieval history, early American, and modern history. And right now we are just going through the four year cycles. We're just starting out and we are using the ancient history, which we've done a lot of American history in our homeschool, but I don't know a lot of ancient history. And so I thought this would be a great place for us to jump in and get started with this. My kids are absolutely eating this up. This is the student teacher's manual workbook thing. <laughs> And it goes through all the questions, the reading for every day, the map work, and the activities to do with your kids, as well as a key for all the map work in the back and extra copies of the kids' work pages. It reads so much like a storybook almost. It's not a super dry textbook, but it's one of those things that you want to continue to read. In fact, some days I've had to stop and say, enough, we, we need to get to work on some of the other projects because we want to just keep reading through the book. We've been partnering this with Evan Moore's Ancient History uh, history pockets and it's been a great curriculum for us to use this year I've been using it with my first grader and fourth grader and we are really enjoying this one the second question is your favorite subject to teach and I actually really enjoy teaching science I put up a review yesterday of our Abeka curriculum that we use and we also use the Evan Moore science in the early years I find it's a lot of fun, especially when it involves animals or nature. Those are my two favorite science subjects to teach on. Number three, your favorite homeschool supply, and you guys are probably going to laugh about this one, but my favorite homeschool supply is post-it notes. I use these all the time in my planner, in the kids' workbooks, on their assignment sheets, um, notes to remind myself, hey, this group of papers needs to be graded, this group of papers you need copies for, this is what you need to take to Kinko's to print, this is the assignment the kids are doing. <laughs> I love these things and I go through them like crazy. Question number four, favorite writing utensil for mom? Uh, I don't have one. Just any pen that will write pretty smoothly, I'm very happy with those. Question number five, favorite homeschool website? I love Confessions of a Homeschooler. Most of you have probably seen her website before, but it is such an amazing tool, and I'm glad that I found it early on in my homeschooling journey. She has some great resources for sale there, some great free resources, as well as a message board where homeschooling moms can come in and ask questions about different curriculum or issues that they're facing in their homeschool. There's a resale aspect to the message boards as well. And so I'm just really thankful to have found her website. I will link that down below in case you want to check it out yourself. Number five, our favorite homeschool decoration. We don't have a homeschool room. We pretty much homeschool anywhere in the house. I live in a home that is under a thousand square feet for the five of us. And so there's a lot of homeschooling that happens on the couch. There's a lot of homeschooling that happens in the kids' bedrooms and a lot of homeschooling that happens around the dining room table. Number six, favorite lunch of the week. It says show a picture. Well, does it count if I'm just constantly grabbing things and going? Because I am a homeschool mom, things are crazy hectic busy around here, and I try to actually film a few videos during the lunch hour, and so it's usually my lunch consists of something I grab while I'm gathering props for a video, or I grab just before we go back into our homeschool day. In fact, I'm filming this at lunch today, 
and I'll probably just have a protein shake before I jump into teaching again. Uh, if I could pick a favorite lunch, I would be better about prepping salads at lunchtime because you can do so many different things with a salad. You could change it up every day. That would probably be my ideal homeschool lunch for the day. Other than that, it's whatever I can grab and go. The next question is favorite mom pick me up. And this is something that I've been doing pretty recently. I am an oils mom. I love my oils by doTERRA. And I recently discovered one called Elevation. It's a joyful blend, but I find for me, it's very energizing. It includes lavender, tangerine, sandalwood, melissa, lemon myrtle, so many other good oils. So when the kids are getting ready in the morning, they're getting their pencil boxes or just things that they need to start the day. I go grab this, put a little bit of it uh, either behind my ears, like perfume or on my wrists. I try to get the smell in our home. And for me, it's very energizing. It's a good pick me up to get me going in the mornings and then maybe a little bit more after lunch when you hit that afternoon slump. Oh, I love it. Um, I wasn't sure that I liked it when I first purchased it, but I'm seeing the results of using it and it's been a great pick me up throughout the day. The next question is favorite place to go on a field trip or a day out. And I was searching through my photos and I thought, oh, there are so many fun things that we're able and blessed to do as homeschoolers. It was really hard to pick. Uh, we like going to the planetarium. I think that's one of our favorite field trips. We like going to see the play twice a year. We have a community theater here in town who puts on a play and does a field trip for the school kids. Uh, but I think the one that we return to the most often is our local national parks. We have two uh, national parks here that are relatively close, plus a couple of state parks here that are really close. And we find ourselves going to them again and again, particularly the one in the north that is in a national forest. There's lots of lava tubes. There's lots of hiking. Um, it's one of those things that if I'm feeling we're getting way too much in a rut and getting way too busy, then I try to find a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon, or even if it's like a Friday, it's the end of the week and we're all a little bit burnt out, then we try to get outside in nature and do some hiking and do some exploring. Like I said, science is my favorite thing to teach. So being near national and state parks has been a huge blessing and we really love getting out there. These are a couple of pictures of our adventures throughout the last couple of years. inspires you and my mind went a thousand different directions. My kids inspire me so much because they are full of questions and full of wanting to know more and to learn more. They're always asking me questions that I can't answer. Uh, and then of course you guys here on YouTube, um, there's several homeschooling mamas out there that inspire me. Trish at Just So Trish really inspires me to just keep going and pushing through and loving on my kids and being their champion. Uh, Hannah at Pepper and Pine is a huge inspiration because she homeschools very differently from me. And so I find inspiration in the way that she thinks because the way that she thinks and prepares a lesson is so contradictory to the way I would do it that I go, oh wait, I could actually do that. I never, it never even occurred to me to do that before. Um, I will link several channels down below. Those are the two that come to mind most quickly, but I will link several channels down below of um, homeschooling YouTube mamas that really inspire me and keep me going in this journey. The next question is your favorite homeschool planner, and this is the Everything Plan Book. I get this from Lakeshore Learning uh, every year. I think it was about the second year of our homeschool that I started using this one, and I haven't gone back since, especially since I got this one. This was uh, last year's model. The only thing that was different about it was the cover and a couple of the classroom pages at the beginning, but the actual planning pages that affect our homeschool didn't change at all. So I got this one on clearance in June or July last year 
and um, they're pretty inexpensive. I believe if you pay full price, they're about 15 bucks. Otherwise, I got mine for 10 or 12. I don't remember. The last question is favorite homeschooling moment from the week. And this week we had an opportunity to go on a field trip. We went and saw a free community concert at our local theater. And it was pretty traditional. It was piano, violin, singing. And each time they put on one of these free community concerts, the organizers ask um, kids from select schools to come up on stage and ask a question. Well, there was a really small group coming from our charter, and so my little guy was the one that actually got to go on stage this time and ask a question. He's only six years old, and he's in first grade. But I knew out of my three kids that he would be the one that would be brave enough to go up on stage and ask a question. And that was kind of cool to get to see him have that special opportunity and be able to speak with the musicians and just how brave he just marched right up there and asked his question. It was pretty cute. <laughs> So that is the homeschool favorites show and tell tag. I'm going to tag Claire at Crooked Cookie Crumb Fun as well as Lindsay at Mama Schmooze Reviews because I am really excited to see what they have to say, particularly in the subject questions and in their favorite supplies. They have some great channels, so I will link them down below as well, and I will hope that you will check them out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we will see you next time. Bye, guys.